In this video, I'm going to cover an example of SAT math problem that deals with factoring. So this SAT problem says, which of the following is an equivalent form of the expression the quantity 3x minus 3 squared minus 3x minus 3? Now you might be tempted just to multiply this all out and combine like terms. You would have 3x minus 3 times 3x minus 3 minus 3x minus 3. Here you can do FOIL. So 3x times 3x is 9x squared. And 3x times negative 3 is negative 9x. Negative 3 times 3x is another, is another negative 9x. And negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9. And then here you would distribute the negative, so you get negative 3, negative 3x, three and then plus 3. And you combine like terms, gives me 9x squared, I have negative 9x, negative 9x, negative 3x, 18 and 3 to give me 21, so negative 21x, and then the 9 plus 3 gives me 12. And then you would factor this. And the first number could be, those could be 1 and 9 or 3 and 3. Usually it's 3 and 3, so 3x and 3x. And if you get 12, those going to be either 1 times 3, 2 times 6, or 3 times 4. If you play with the numbers here, it's going to be 3 and 4. So negative 3, so that's going to be 3 times negative 4, give me negative 12. And negative 3 times 3, give me negative 9. So 9 and 12, give me the 21 that I need that's in the middle here. All right, so that will work out. So 3x minus 3 times 3x minus 4. Okay, that will be answer choice D. But there's a much quicker way to solve this, so watch this. So the fastest way to solve this is to recognize that both of these have a 3x minus 3 in common, and you can factor that out. So that gives me 3x minus 3, and there's going to be another 3x minus 3 here to give you the 3x minus 3 squared, and then over here be minus 1. Okay, so this is 3x minus 3 times 3x minus 3, or 3x squared. And then 3x minus 3 times negative 1 to give you the negative 3x minus 3. Okay, so that's factored. Now inside here, I can get rid of the parentheses. Give me 3x minus 3 minus 1. And just bring this down. Then combine like terms. So 3x minus 4. And there you go, 3x minus 3 times 3x minus 4. So answer D. I want to thank you for watching this video, and hopefully you learned something. And you can support this channel by liking this video and subscribing. That would be really appreciated. And don't forget to check out our other videos involving SAT math. Thanks.